I think it all comes back to gridlock. And the thing that consistently pulls the best um, on, on filibuster is talking about in terms of gridlock. And that works across um, ideological spectrum. Um, you know, everybody knows that Washington is gridlock. It's one of the, it's the thing that people hate the most about Washington. And you can very credibly point to the filibuster as the single biggest thing causing gridlock in Washington, DC. So, you know, if, if I was in an elevator and trying to convince someone, I would say, look, do you hate gridlock? Me too. Um, the filibuster is this rule that was never supposed to exist, you know, has come into existence um, through the forces of racism and white supremacy. Um, and even if that doesn't move you, what should move you is the fact that it is the thing causing gridlock in Washington, DC. We should get rid of it so that we can pass thoughtful solutions. Um, it would be the same for both sides. Um, this change would allow Republicans to pass what they want to pass when they're in power, and it would allow Democrats to pass what they want to pass when they're in power. Um, and this is how a democracy should work. The party that, that you run on ideas, people elect you to enact those ideas, you put the ideas into practice, and then if people like them, they can return you to office, and if they don't like them, they can elect the other guy. Um, but we would at least have a system where things move and the government functions, um, and it would end a lot of this gridlock that's paralyzing Washington.